Cheers and welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, this is the Blickman Brew Easy Compact System. Some of this applies to other Brew Easy systems, but this is a series covering Blickman Brew Easy Compact System. Today, we're gonna go over the spigot. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate the sharing. So essentially, this is your spigot. This is where your beer comes out. And you can probably see from above, we have a rotating dip tube right there. And we can actually rotate that dip tube with a little arm down here. Now, if you over tighten your tri-clamp like I did, it won't move. But if you don't have it crazy snug, like, you know, stupid, there we go, see? And I can rotate that. So you can move it down, you can bring it up if you have a lot of gunk on the bottom, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna take it off, show it to you in parts, so we can go over every part, just in case anyone has any concern, questions, they're missing a piece, they're not sure what's going on, they're confused, they're scared, I don't know. Um, yeah, if you haven't printed out the little thing from Brew Easy Compact, that's your parts list. And I'm pretty sure that's not all of them. But I'm gonna take this one main tri-clamp off and that should take the whole thing apart. And there we go. I've got the whole thing apart now. Not really. I just took the main assembly out. So this is your assembly. People are looking down here going, what's that? That's where you turn the rotating dip tube. And if you loosen this up a little bit, you can probably, yep, there you go, twist only that piece. So something to be aware of. Yeah. Very cool, very easy. I'm gonna take this assembly completely apart and explain it. This is your tri-clamp. If it's NPT, it's gonna look a little different, of course. Take this off. It's like a double tri-clamp because that's the rotating dip tube right there. That's it. Very simple, very easy. And that's it. And get your little tri-clamp o-ring. It's got another little o-ring right here to kind of help seal it a little bit better. And that's it. I mean, very cool, very well engineered, just something to be aware of. And then if we take this off, this is where your hose will go to your pump for either recirculation or whirlpooling or whatever you may want to do. I'll take this off. You're probably going to leave this on at all times, but I'm taking it off just for the sake of the video so you can see all the parts. So I'm going to lay it out in the way it's connected to make life a little easier. There we go, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Um, you go straight from tri-clamp, which goes here. You have your gasket, you have your O-ring, you have your rotating dip tube. You have another gasket, another tri-clamp, your linear flow valve piece, another gasket, tri-clamp, and the valve for basically allowing the flow into the, the tube to go through your pump system. That's it. When you're putting it together, it's probably gonna be a little easier to put the rotating dip tube in first. That way also you can kind of align it where you want it because if you over snug it, it's not going to rotate. It just doesn't. It only rotates if you don't over tighten it and you really don't need to over tighten it. It's just something, you know, I get a little freaked out. I don't want anything to leak. You can always let it off a little bit. So I personally would over tighten a little bit. Put this in, you look inside because you're gonna have, put that on camera, you can see that's where the heating element, and I go right between the heating element. I go in, and that's it. So now, I'm right here. Simply take the tri-clamp, put it however makes sense for you or what works for you. It doesn't have any particular area, you just wanna make sure it's up and out of the way for everything else you're gonna put on here. You tighten that bad boy up. Like I said, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to super tighten it. And right there, I can still move the floating dip tube. So it's kind of cool. It looks like the piece that's welded is moving, but it is not. It's just the reflection. So don't freak out on that. Okay, got another seal. Eh, we'll do it this way. Put it here, take that, put it like that. 
again, second tri-clamp. Mine are the opposite. And the reason I did that, you can spin them around 180 degrees. I can now get to this one and I can get to this one and I'm not taking up too much space on one side. If I had it over here, I wouldn't be able to get to it. So, and honestly, I think that might actually even get in my way a little bit, but I think I have a way around that. So I'm not too bad. It's all good. Take this, another gasket, I put it this way. I take this tri-clamp and we're gonna go we want to get it out of the way for the hose piece. So maybe I know what I'm gonna do. What did I mention? I can spin it around 180 degrees. Yes, makes life easy. Again, take it. I like to hang these because it's a little easier to work with, but that's okay. Come up, I start to tighten it a little bit. Knowing I'm not gonna take this back off anytime soon, especially during the brewing, I can spin that one down and out of the way like that and tighten it up a little bit more. There we go. It's out of the way. I'm not going to be taking this off. I, I shouldn't be taking any of that off during brewing. So that's all good. Everything's nice and snug. Now, if I want this to be this way, simply take this, loosen it up, spin it around. It's that easy. Done. Now it's facing over here. Super simple. That's it. That's your spigot. Um, like I said, you can loosen this and move this around. You may want to move these out of your way to get to that little bar, but I don't see myself moving it very often. So I'm really not worried. Remember this will come all the way off so you can clean inside. Cleaning is definitely something you want to do before you use it, after you use it and for the rest of the eternity. But yeah, that's it. That's your spigot. Thank you again for joining us here at Bitter Reality Brewing for the Blickman Compact Brew Easy System or Brew Easy Compact System. Don't forget to like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate the sharing.